Hey YouTube, this is Raj, and today I'm going to be talking about the top 6 crossbow enchantments in Minecraft, basically ranking them all the way from number 6 up to number 1, basically telling you which one is the best for the crossbow. So why don't we get started? So just to let you know before I start this video is there will be links at the end of the video to each individual enchantment as I've done videos on all of them, and also an enchantment guide. And how I rank this is based on what at least I like and also what I think is the most functional for the crossbow. So the number 6 crossbow enchantment in Minecraft is the Curse of Vanishing enchantment. And basically how the Curse of Vanishing works is that if you die that item disappears. So you obviously don't want it on your crossbow at all because you'll just completely lose that item if you die. Obviously if you're playing hardcore mode this won't apply at all. But it is a curse enchantment and how you get it through is through chest loot, villager trading, and fishing. So basically you just want to watch what you put onto your crossbow so you don't end up with curse of vanishing and it basically being useless after you die. So the number 5 crossbow enchantment in Minecraft is the piercing enchantment. So what the piercing enchantment means is that you can go through multiple entities. So when you shoot a crossbow it won't just go through one mob it can keep going through multiple mobs. So the maximum level is 4, it is incompatible with the multi shot, uh, and how it works is obviously it can pass through multiple entities, it can go through shields, and basically how the formula works is it's the level plus 1. So obviously if it's level 4, that means it can be go through 5 different entities. Uh, so it is, it's a decent one if you're getting swarmed by a lot of mobs, you can shoot it and it will go through um, a lot of mobs but the thing is they have to be in pretty much a straight line for you to actually uh, hit five mobs so it's a pretty good enchantment and it's at least nice to have something specific to the crossbow but I would say there's better enchantments in Minecraft. So the number four crossbow enchantment in Minecraft is the unbreaking enchantment. So how the unbreaking enchantment works is it basically reduces the amount of durability you use when you use that item. So if you're not familiar with durability, basically this involves any item or piece of armor. Basically when you use it, it reduces the durability by one. So this means, for example, with something like the crossbow, it has 320 uses before it completely disappears. But with unbreaking, what it does is it can reduce that. So the maximum level for unbreaking is level three. And how the actual formula is calculated for unbreaking is 100 divided by the level plus 1, so level 3 will be 4, so it means there's a 25% chance of item durability being used when you use the crossbow. This means you can actually get 1200 uses out of your crossbow rather than 300, so this is quite a bit and it makes the unbreaking enchantment very useful for the crossbow. So the number 3 crossbow enchantment in Minecraft is the mending enchantment. So the mending enchantment involves durability, basically what it does is it takes in XP and repairs the durability of your crossbow. So how you can get the mending enchantment is through chest loot, raids, fishing and villager trading. You obviously get it most through fishing and villager trading, the maximum level is 1. How it works is 1 XP will repair 2 durability and you have to have it in your hand or offhand or your armor slot. Uh, basically obviously with crossbow you'll have it in your hand or offhand. Yet, if you're wearing multiple items, one will be chosen at random, and if that item is already restored, then it goes to the player's levels. So with the crossbow, it's obviously very useful because it extends the lifetime of the crossbow, so you can keep using it, and if you have really good enchantments, you can just uh, keep using that crossbow as long as you don't lose it. So the number two crossbow enchantment in Minecraft is the multi-shot enchantment. Now the reason I like the multi-shot enchantment a lot is because it's unique, especially unique for the crossbow, and it is kind of fun to use. So basically what it does, instead of shooting one arrow, you actually shoot three arrows. So you shoot one in the center and then one to the right of that and one to the left of that. So it is very fun to use. So the maximum level is one, it basically just has that one function. It is incompatible with piercing. I honestly think multi-shot is a lot better than the piercing enchantment because it's a lot funner to just uh, hit three different entities rather than just shooting one straight forward through five entities. So how it works is you basically shoot three arrows in different directions. Uh, it only consumes one arrow. Uh, it also uses three durability and a mob can only be hit once. So 
This 3 durability thing is probably the biggest downside to using multi-shot, but it is a very fun enchantment to use. So I'm just going to quickly show you how this works. So a normal crossbow looks like that, and then a multi-shot crossbow looks like this. And you can see there was three different arrows and they went in different directions. So it's definitely very useful if you're getting attacked by a lot of mobs. So the number one crossbow enchantment in Minecraft is the quick charge enchantment. So the quick charge enchantment basically allows you to load your crossbow a lot quicker and it makes it a lot easier to use. So the maximum level of quick charge is level three and how it works is basically reduces the amount of time it takes to load by 0.25 seconds per level. So at level 3, it'll be 0.75 seconds. Uh, the thing about quick charge is you can't put quick charge 3 on the crossbow. What I mean is if you put a crossbow into the enchanting table, you can't get crossbow uh, quick charge 3. So the only way you can get it is basically by uh, getting it either through villager trading in a book, uh, by combining books, by combining crossbows that have quick charge 2, and also by um, finding it in chests, in mine shafts, or desert pyramids. But it's definitely useful once you actually get the enchantment. So I'm just going to quickly show you the difference between the two. So this is a normal crossbow. So it took quite a bit to actually load the thing. Now let's compare it to an enchanted. That was really quick. So it took probably about a s less than a second to reload the crossbow. So you can see it definitely makes it a lot funner to use a crossbow and it definitely makes it more useful to use it. So I definitely recommend. So that was the top six crossbow enchantments in Minecraft. I hope you guys agreed with me. If you don't, let me know in the comments. I f regret saying that already. Uh, if you're interested, I have videos for all of the individual enchantments and an enchantment guide. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you want me to keep producing content, please give me a subscribe. You can always leave a comment if you want. Uh, and stay classy, YouTube. This is Raj.